OK, so let's say I want to find the missing side and angle in these two diagrams. Both of these, I'm going to have to use the cosine rule. OK, so for this first one, we have that a squared, OK, so this side squared is equal to, now either of these could be b and c, it doesn't matter which. So let's go with 22 as b, 17 as c. Let's uh, quickly label them. So we've got b squared. It's 22 squared plus c squared minus 2, lots of b times c times cos of the angle 88 degrees. OK, so a squared, I can just plug all of that straight into the calculator. So 22 squared plus 17 squared, take away 2 times 22 times 17 times cosine of 88 gets me 746.895, etc. So then square root answer key is 27.3 metres to three significant figures. OK? And so that uh, is my answer to number one. Now, number two requires me to find an angle. Now, depending on whether you actually remember the rearranged version of the formula or not, I'm going to say, let's say we don't, OK? Let's say we don't know that. So that, um, well, we can call this one A, if you like. There's B and there's C. Or probably even better, right? rather than labelling it that way, just to relabel. Okay, let's call that angle A, there's little a, there's B, there's C, for example. Then A squared, so 305 squared, is equal to B squared plus C squared. Take away 2 times B times C times cosine of the angle that I want. Okay. Right, so the rearranged version of this would be cos b is equal to 212 squared plus 137 squared minus 305 squared all over 2 times 212 times 137. Okay, now as I said, you either remember that rearranged form or you remember, remember that form or you remember both. Okay. Um, but the majority of cases, I expect people will remember that first form. So 212 squared plus 137 squared, take away 305 squared, oh, and then divide that by 2 times one, uh, 2 times 212 uh, times 137, gets a cosine b of minus 3664. over 7, 2, 6, 1. So inverse cosine answer key gets me b of 120 degrees to three significant figures. 120.3057116 on the calculator. Uh, 120 degrees makes sense given the uh, situation that I have. Okay, so that's how you can use the cosine rule to find a missing side or a missing angle.